that in the sky you guys are going to be watching the documenting and that's, that's all in valley that's how you start this land is made for you and me yeah, this we, land is your we land. Trucks take it water land out of my streams. Land. We caught big from trucks flushing. I mean, we to the New York so that's, that's Island we from the Red yeah. Cliff Forest yeah. feet on the ground. The is what we yeah. 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 I think we'll get more of this us. It's just a matter of time. There will be more. Yeah. Yeah. People, now, people you don't even know what's going on. They're not told the whole what story. Do you think he was thinking about wells flaring into the night? God bless you. Thank you. When he talks about the Gulf of Mexico, whose Gulf of Mexico is it? Our Gulf of Mexico. Doesn't belong to BP, <laughs> belongs to us. And this is the same corporations we're unleashing on Ohio. Does what they do in the Gulf of Mexico make you trust them? Why would they trust them in Ohio? <laughs> As I was walking that ribbon of highway, I saw above me that endless skyway. I saw below me that golden valley. This land was made for you and me. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. Land is made for you and me. I came back to Ohio after 40 years. When I left Ohio, we had just controlled the strip miners. I came back to Ohio to find out we can't control the frackers who plan to destroy us the same way they did in coal. That's why we're coming together today to ask people to pay attention to what's going on. Pay attention is all you have to do. This is an election season. We muster all of our skepticism to judge the claims of the candidates. But when it comes to the corporate voice, we have no skepticism left. They ask us to trust them. They say trust us. Do we trust them? No. No. no, no. <laughs> Why should we trust them? Accident after accident, lie after lie. Whose land is it? Our land. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest. To the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. Now I came here from Chicago. Yeah. I didn't come here for smog. I came here for a beautiful state, Ohio. I didn't come here to see them industrialize the countryside of Ohio. And neither did anybody else here. Fracking is an industrial process. Is she from Chicago? Yes. It will destroy what we love about Ohio. Really? Him and, this land him and is your I never land. Yes, you did. This land oh, it's right. Land. That's right. That's right. No, it's different. Yeah. 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 Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. I even checked last night. But look at this. Awesome. This is awesome. I'm glad you made it. That's awesome. Oh yeah. The open mic is now open. This is a tide change. This is a sea change. Yep. It's good. It's good. You want to say something, Jed? Uh, nope. Okay. Here, I'll let you hold the camera. I'll say something. All right. All right. Everybody, look at who's here. It's a core group and it's growing. Lincoln County is here. Who's here? Geauga County is here. I mean, I, I'm a, I just can't name everybody. There's so many different organizations.
Organizations Factory Ohio, People's Oil and Gas um, Collaborative, uh, Licking County, Stewards of the Lamb, uh, Concerned Citizens, Licking County Concerned Citizens, we have Mohegan Advocates, we have um, we have the Jersey County, um, we have Ohio Citizen Action, we have uh, Buckeye Forest Council, uh, I just can't name everybody, but thank you. Anyways, I thought you might like to hear what I was going to say. The rest of the story. The rest of the story. Because, you know, I was cut off at the board meeting, and they wouldn't let me finish, but nobody can cut us off. Nobody right. can keep us from finishing this That's job. That's right. Because we will end fracking in Ohio. We will do it. We are the ones that are going to have to do it because Columbus is not doing it and the MWCD is not doing it. And they all think they can get away with it and we say, no, you can't. So what I was going to say earlier is we are now appealing to the Conservancy Court judges because they intervened. And I was told in this whole process that the judges would take care of things because they're our elected officials and they will listen to the people. So now that we can see that the board is not listening to the people, we are here at the courthouse to ask the Conservancy Court judges to appeal to the people and, and to listen to us. And so we know that they will stop the sale of water and stop the lease of public land for fracking. We trust that they will do the right thing. This is what I was going to say to the board before I was cut off. I have told you things before and I know it to be fundamentally true. You cannot be a conservancy district collecting taxes from the people under the justification of public benefit and frack our lake and sell our water that will be destroyed. I am presenting for the record some recent house studies and formally requesting to be published on your website on the board meeting minutes. We'll see if they do that. They, they don't like to do that. I attended and witnessed another sham of the public input process that was last Wednesday in which you made it look like you were open to the public. Yet it's blatantly obvious that you have made your decision that you will crack yet another reservoir and sell our water for your profit. You think you can get away with this because you have a lawyer that's paid by public money. You can use your tax dollars to pay to fight us, but the evidence is clear and there will be damages and when that day comes, I will name names and I will name your name, MWCD board and executive committee, the name of each and every person involved in this decision. I give you this information that you need to consider before recklessly engaging in this industry and supporting its plundering of our public resources for your profit. I will go to the courthouse and make one last appeal to the press and Conservancy Court judges. If this process works the way it should, the Conservancy Court judges will hear us again and override your headlong rush to be a good neighbor to the industry and a bad neighbor to your tax-paying stakeholders. If the Conservancy Court will not stop your destructive decisions, I will name their names too. Because just like Deepwater Horizon in which the cement casings failed there, there will be damages, there will be a hearing, there will be justice, and you will pay. The reservoirs may be contaminated beyond redemption. People may die of cancer. You may not live close enough to have the personal consequences, but you will be held accountable for the foolhardy, headlong rush you made to be friends with an industry that will take everything we have, that we hold dear, use it, destroy it, make a toxic waste disposal problem out of it, and then leave. They are not our friends. Why do you care if you are friends with them? And you heard the rest earlier. And once again, I'm saying this is a sea change. This is where the people have to take back. The most undemocratic process I have witnessed in my life is taking place right here 
and we can stop it because last I checked, this is the United States of America. And on the people, by the people, for the people, you can't have our water and you can't frack it. We'll stop you. All right. Well, we get our next speaker up here. We'll do a song for the civil rights movement. <laughs> Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. Turn me around, turn me around. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. Keep on walking, keep on talking, marching out to freedom land. Ain't gonna let no oil company turn me around, turn me around, turn me around. Ain't gonna let no fracker turn me around. We're gonna keep on walking, keep on talking, marching out to freedom land. Ain't gonna let no fracker turn us around, turn us around, turn us around. Ain't gonna let no frackers turn us around. We're gonna keep on walking, keep on walking at the freedom land. Ain't gonna let no judge turn us around, turn us around. They were in the coffee shop earlier, and then now they're here. Turn us around, we're gonna keep on should, I, walking, should I interview keep them? On yeah. Chicago style? It's weird though, they, the industry you know, seems to look look really, really around people who are real into this it. This right here in the middle of New Philadelphia. Yeah. 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 We've got a lot of money here. Yeah. 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 The war on the environment. These are not crazy eco-terrorists, as Josh Mandel would call us. Not a bunch of hippies. These are mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers, citizens of Ohio. Fighting the war to save the environment. What good will it do us? What good will it do us to have the richest? of the oil companies to be able to drive our cars if we can't drink the water when we get home. We can't breathe the air. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around, turn me around, turn me around. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. Keep on walking, keep on talking, marching out the freedom land. All right, I'd like to bring up our next speaker. Formerly known as the young man in the blue shirt. <laughs> oh, good send off to the microphone. There it is. <laughs> You're off. Thank you. That was awesome. Uh, I'm a local youth, like I already said. Oh, um, you. Yeah. My, my name is Rome Marinelli. I live out on Henderson School Road. Uh, it's on your way out towards Roswell. It's also out kind of close to Atwood and New Cumberland, where they have started fracturing already. It's scary. I tried to voice my concern to the board, but I didn't think they really cared. Um, it's scary because when you wake up, you don't know what it's like to take things for granted. I used to wake up every morning, shower, eat breakfast, go to school, wash hands. I don't know, anything to do with water. And now it's scary because if they contaminate one aquifer, that is a huge, that's a vast amount of water underneath. And that can travel from, I mean, I was looking up aquifers all night last night. It can travel from Pennsylvania all the way down towards Tennessee. That's all one huge aquifer. Um, and it's scary because if one gets contaminated, what's to say that the rest of them won't either? But it is scary because, like I said, I shower and even when I wash my hands or put water in a pan to like cook some spaghetti or something, if the water smells, and I say, Mom, this water smells, oh, our softener just needs changed. Well, that's what you said last week.